What will my friends think of me? I'm afraid of what kind of father I will be. But I don't know what will happen. The unknown is too scary to give up control. What are people thinking when they meet me? I'm ashamed of my Asian American identity. My parents are pushing me to find a good job, get good grades, but also spend time with them. That set the disciples back on their heels. Christy has a lot of non-Christian friends that she really looks deep in our eyes and says, Do you think you can pull it off by yourself? And stick through my lungs. conference has been really great for me because there's not a large Asian community in Oklahoma and in Oklahoma City and um, I grew up in a small uh, rural town in Oklahoma and I did not grow up in a community. My mother is from Japan um, and she came to this country by herself and so we were pretty cut off and so I did not have this experience. I've had a lot of the experiences that I've heard from everybody here but I had them all alone. And so coming here um, has really helped me connect more to, with my Asian American identity. And it's also helped me connect very much with my identity as an Asian American Christian. So I really, um, really, am, I feel so blessed that I am here. So tightly. And so we spent some time looking at our own lives, real Uriah and Stacy. Right. Yeah. And we made a list of some things that we have, um, we believe that we are, or that other people have told us about ourselves. Okay. So because, because I just want to interject, yeah. that is, that your call is really related to who you are. You know, what you need to share and evolve is really inherent to who you are, your identity. That's why what we have, what we're going to show, is you know uh, who we think we are and who and the things that we heard other people say. We're having a party in the home of the oldest brother, and a tornado swept in out of the desert and struck the house. It collapsed on the young people, and they died. And I am the only one who survived. To come out and tell you what happened. You know, and you're being a taste. Like I realized, like wow, like I, I can really talk about anything I want and be very honest about my my own experiences as well as um my thoughts about god you know like i've never really felt like i've never been in a situation where i could be that open and honest about all those things together you know because i realized for me like those are all very intertwined for me and so so kind of knowing that and um and recognizing that um my sermon could be really anything i want it to be assert the things that we have and the memories that we hold Make that choice. to do for me in the future, but I hope that other people are able to come and have empowering experiences and have meaningful experiences and meet people that they can relate to and share stories with and just to come and experience what there is for you here. Because I came in with no expectations, so it you know, my experience here had no preconceptions. I had no idea what I was coming to, but I'm so glad that I did, and I would highly recommend it for anybody.